So we want to just propose some ideas. The first thing is that you have to create your own system. As Davide presented before, we need to be helped in this work because otherwise it's too much. So as you see, we've got the circular uh, system um, and we will see step by step uh, how much important it is to follow or just to uh, work with this system. So first thing is creation of a network. In the afternoon, uh, Marta will present more information about how to create a network, how it will work uh, um, in a system of network with different stakeholders. What we have to say is that Sentry uh, or Sentries cannot work alone. It's impossible to follow all the tournament, all the championship, to have um, um, speaking with athletes or sport educators and know what's going on in your community. So it's important you've got a network of stakeholders that help you in having information and collecting the denounce. Uh, who are the stakeholder we are looking for? First of all, sport. Uh, you hear a lot, uh, even from presentation of Carlos, we want to work with sport labs, sport organizations, sport federation, with people inside the sport world, from the grassroots to uh, the, the um, professional sport. So it's important you contact your um, associations, uh, you involve directly them, um, raising awareness, and we will see later how much important it is. Then you can also contact organizations who just work uh, with victims of discrimination. Migrants community, association who work with asylum seekers and refugees, lawyers, for example, or social worker or welcome center, anti-violence center for women or LGBTQI plus people, uh, association who defend their rights, not only anti-violence center, uh, association who work with people with disabilities. These are all organizations that, of course, they don't work directly in sport, but sometimes they have reported of people who's got problem in entering in the sports system, or they can find barriers. Another uh, group of stakeholders are local and national authorities. So Department of Sport, I'm happy that today there are people who just work in municipality with us, who uh, work with social affairs, with youth, youth, or national or local office, office for present, uh, preventing discrimination. I know that each, in each country there, it's uh, compulsory to have a national office uh, um, dealing with discrimination we got in Italy and we are working also with this office and normally they got, they got also hotspots, uh, hotline in which they receive this uh, uh, denounce of discrimination. So maybe entering in contact, it could be a good idea to know how is the situation in your territory. And then uh, it's important also to, uh, to have university, research center, school, media. That could be interesting also to spread out our message. Uh, in, in that it's important, don't close our eyes in front of every kind of discrimination. How to involve them? We just said uh, it's important that you gave them a role. Uh, if they don't feel important, they don't help you. How you got the, the material, we just say with, uh, uh, with Marcus before, we've got our uh, website. So just briefly, uh, you can find resources, you can find a networking action plan in each, translated in each language or in the language of the uh, participants at this project. We will do the same for the other material. At the end of this uh, uh, seminar, we will send you all the um, um, slides and all the material. We will try to translate as much as possible uh, the material in the other languages. Uh, then uh, it's important you do um, a work of sensitization. 
It's important uh, understanding the phenomenon. It's important you, we create cooperation. As Davide said, uh, there is an, an, um, a problem of underestimation uh, of, uh, uh, of this problem. I always remember the, the words uh, of a, a friend of us, a sociologist, Davide's father, uh, that in the past is always said, um, if we don't report activity, uh, denounce about racism, uh we can say okay we don't have racism in our country and that means that the government don't take seriously the uh, um, the asking of the organization to organize anti-racist event so it's really important to understand the situation of course if in the end we discover that we don't have any discriminatory act in our sport we are very happy but as we see with the statistic presented at the beginning, the, 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 the reality is not like this, especially after this COVID pandemic period uh, that enlarge uh, the discrimination and so, and see, uh, and we can see how much the marginalized people are more marginalized during the COVID and what's happened now with the terrible war that we've got in our Europe where uh, is starting again uh, racism against people uh, about against culture with for example the russophobia or the fake news about one side and another uh, we i don't want to open a discussion on the war but uh, as usually all the war we got a war in syria is not stopping we've got a, a war in palestina we can say but uh, all this kind of conflict open racism against cultures and in the end is just the war making by government and politics. So just to say that we have to open our eyes and go on. So what we ask to this stakeholder, helping us receiving information about episode or a victim of discrimination, collaborating and spreading out information about uh, sentry sport and collecting the denounce, helping the victim, we will see at the end, participation in the evaluation of this methodology. This is true in particular for people who will do the pilot action for this, um, this project. But in general, it's important when we do a project, we uh, concentrate on the evaluation and uh, insert in this uh, evaluation also all the stakeholders with whom we work, especially when we work on anti-discriminatory campaign because it's important to hear different voices, because what we see as a promoter sometimes is different for, for what they feel people who work with us. Awareness campaign, it's absolutely important. I just said, I want to repeat, it's important to speak up against uh, discrimination. Don't close our eyes in front of any discriminatory act. Um, we hear um, from Carlos something, uh, and you will find also in the toolkit some example. Sometimes people try to see it's a joke. Uh, I wasn't serious. Uh, I'm, I'm a woman, so many times, and we've got also here many women on board, uh, especially in, in football. We always hear this phrase, oh, you, uh, you play like a lady just to say that you are not able or maybe uh, you are gay. I don't know, it's, uh, uh, it's something that it's, it's not nice to hear about, but when you talk with people and say, come on, this is not nice to hear, they say, it's a joke, don't worry, I'm not uh, um, uh, homophobe or I'm not against women, but it's just a way to say, this is discrimination. So uh, of course, it's maybe a life form, but can provoke something because maybe some people just go out from our sport system. Uh, what to do? Uh, of course, it's quite easy just to give you some advices. Uh, event organized by our, or, um, your organization, our organization, sport and cultural event, local national council with our board just to also talk with our sport managers and sport educator training of our sport educator that's it, it very much important but 
uh, we can also participate or stimulate events organized by our stakeholders, sport event, public debate, lessons in school and university, uh, training course for day educator, also social educator. And then, of course, there, uh, the normal part that we do uh, every, every day is working with media, website and social network, our social network and media. Uh, that means uh, stimulate participation in group discussion in Facebook or post or article in our website, but also, if it's possible, working with the so-called media mainstream. So radio, TV, TV newspaper, especially a local one. It's important they also report part of our work, present the Sentry Sport Project, or just present our attention on the problem of discrimination in sport. Monitoring. In the afternoon, we will fix our attention on how we will do uh, our monitoring role, and we will present all the materials and all the tools we have prepared. But it's important to say, Sentry is not a psychologist. So your role won't be to support the victim from a psychology point of view or any other role, but your role is collecting the information about discriminatory incident uh, because we need to understand how deep is the phenomenon. In the afternoon, uh, my colleague Annie from Greece will also present some advices how to uh, establish um, uh, an, envi an, an empathic or environment, how to talk with the victim or the witnesses, because of course we don't concentrate our, our attention only on victims, but there are also witnesses can uh, give us information. So that's also, it's uh, very much important. And now the things that we will see in the afternoon, uh, even with me, I'm sorry, I will talk a lot uh, today. Uh, I hope uh, I don't bore you. Uh, it's the evaluation. Uh, it's important for us to evaluate the methodology. So uh, evaluation, we always said, is not a way to give marks as in the school, uh, to decide what's bad, what good, but it's important to understand, analyze, learn, maybe improve in the future, change our tools. So we need uh, ideas, suggestions, critics, comments uh, to improve the system. Each project is always a work in progress. And uh, we can say that this project benefit from the mistakes we, we did in the past, uh, in other projects, from the experience of all the partners that are in, in this uh, uh, consortium. Um, and so it's very much important this part, don't eva under evaluate it. It won't be very long. Um, helping the victim. As I said, we are not, or maybe some of us is, uh, but it, basically we are not uh, asked to be psychologists, social worker, lawyer, doctors, but, um, it's important we listen, everybody, without judging. Our uh, role is to collect the information, don't judge the person, and refer him or her to a specialized center. Uh, there are many organizations who work directly with victims of discrimination, so it's important we gave them information, um, address, uh, uh, in some case where maybe the victim is afraid or they need a specific translation or specific assistance, we can accompany the victim. And we see in the end, uh, at this, uh, we, we, we come back to the circularity of the system. Uh, for helping the victim, we need the creation of a network. Uh, and so again, we are in the circle. This project, uh, it's uh, um, about testing this methodology. Uh, so of course, we can just give information to the victim and uh, uh, this project ended with the collection of data. But collecting data means that we got material to do something more in the, in, uh, in the future. And so establish precise project that can not solve, but helping to solve the problem of discrimination. So uh, that's 
all for the moment. So thank you for your attention.